Good morning and welcome to another week in the wonderful world of Natalie. It is Monday morning, it has just gone, no it's not just gone, it's 20 past 10. I'm looking extremely proud because I forgot my fake tan at the weekend and I'm just having to embrace it. Not embracing at all. First thing I do tonight, fake tan. So this morning I've been at Lake and Creamery which I've been so excited about because they want to do a collaboration with me and I've just been and picked up some ice cream because that's what we do first thing on a Monday morning and I just want to show you this one. I think this is ra yeah, raspberries and cream. Oh my god. Look at that. <sighs> so colourful. So uh, me and mum and dad are all on a little family day out today hence why I've come home and I'm obviously going to um, get them to help me shoot these images because that's just team cheerleader they are and they'll get free ice cream out of it so win win all round really I think that's all I need to tell you about the weekend we went to Bista I bought something super 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 excited that I've always wanted and I finally own it and I'm going to show you all about it on the gram very very soon but I need an epic photo like I did with my Gucci shoes so you're just going to have to wait so I think that's all I need to tell you, tell you about right now yeah I think that's it look how pale I am not made for the pale life everything else about being ginger I love hair colour, freckles Maybe the temper, but definitely not the paleness. Not made for that life. So it's all come out to show him. Looks like he's on the vlog here. Mum's moving all the furniture now. Hello. <laughs> that was like the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, we've done the photos we need to do today, and now we're having lunch. Me and Mum have gone for afternoon tea. Look how cute this looks. Cream tea. And Dad's gone for bacon and brewing. The side of the fan and the round kisses. They good? Good morning vlog! It is Tuesday and I'm feeling very, very energetic today. I have been up, I've done a bike ride, I have filmed a YouTube video, I am super super tanned done my makeup my hair and i'm all ready and it is quarter to ten so i'm very very far ahead of my day today just couldn't sleep last night i think i had way too much i've got so much like coming up the part next like week and next week we're from barcelona so so many things to plan that i just couldn't sleep basically so i need to start sleeping with a notepad at the side of my bed so i can write down ideas and write down stuff that's stopping me sleep because that really helped last time anyway so you might remember last week these tights and then i also got some red fishnets which i'm actually wearing currently so i'm thinking i'm going to be doing on my vlog just this time to see how it goes me styling the fishnet tights three different ways and seeing if you guys kind of like that kind of video or if you don't like that kind of video so this is a trial i'm going to show you how i wear these fishnet tights three times as part of this vlog and if you guys enjoy it please do leave a comment down below and i will start doing those more often so now you're going to go to a future me where i'm going to show you how to wear these super cool fishnet tights i'm going to leave a link in the down bar so you guys can go shop them and see how i've styled these fishnet tights so this is my first look with the tights i've teamed it with some leopard print shorts a laid back shirt and then just a basic slogan tee just a bit of an edgy look this would be perfect for a festival i've also put it on with some biker boots just look how cool they are i love that they're red now look two. So this is my second look. So I have teamed it with this Crow Ward that I am literally in love with at the moment. It is just Tomb Raider vibes and I'm all over it. This would be perfect for a festival. The fishnet tights again obviously and the same boots but I really love this look. I think it's really really edgy, really quirky. You're going to stand out from the crowd and it's another way to rock some fishnets. And then for my last look I've gone for this super laid back perfect for drinks with the girls look i've left the fishnet tights on and i've put them underneath i think they look really cool when you've got heels and a fishnet this looks really really awkward but it's the only way i can show you i just love the look of denim jeans with fishnets underneath i think if you had some ripped jeans this would look even better 
but I literally have just cleared out my wardrobe and I don't have any. But I think baggy ripped mum jeans and fishnet tights just looking like seeping through looks really really cool and I just love this super edgy look. I love also that you can get the the, uh, the waistband underneath. I think that looks really cool, really edgy and like you know what you're doing with fashion. So hopefully that's giving you a few more tips as to how to wear fishnet tights. Just when I thought I was doing so well today, um, the parcel I need to shoot this afternoon has gone to Chris's house. So now I've got to drive all the way to Norwich to pick up a parcel to shoot it this afternoon. Good job I woke up early this morning, wasn't it? So hopefully next time you see me, I'll have a parcel in my hand. Thank God for online tracking and the bloke said that he left it at Chris's with a picture. So at least I know where it is. So every cloud. Good news. Got the parcel. Which means I'm going to go home, drag mum out and we're going to go shoot that. <laughs> Can I just quickly address the fact that life is so much better with a tan? Like how much better do I look with a tan? Also, um, running in some random purple nails into my nails today, just to mix things up, because I'm off to Barcelona next week. I don't know if I've told you, but um, yeah, I'm off to Barcelona. So I'm trying out different nail colours to see what I fancy, because it's a big decision, isn't it? Good morning, vlog. I apologise if this is really, really bright, but today is sunny, and I am off out to go and do some content, because I've just been sent a really cool box of... Sorry, how, is anybody able to sit on a swinging chair that does not swing? It just happens, but I'm going to have to stop on that, whereas that's going to be really off-putting. So yes, I've just been sent an amazing box full of nuts and fruit from Gloriously Grown. These are exclusive to Sainsbury's, and they come out on the 14th of August, which is Chris's birthday when we're in Barcelona. So I'm now off to shoot my content now, so it's all ready. So I don't have to put these in my case, because let's be honest, there's not going to be any space in my case to carry around some nuts. But I just wanted to go through them all with you. So there's a Californian range, they're all like based on countries around the world which is why I love them because I love to travel um, Filipino ones another pack of Filipino ones these are probably going to be my favourite these are mango, papaya and pineapple Vietnamese ones I really want to go to Vietnam so that's probably the closest I'm ever going to get for the next year probably and Marcona ones so this is the, uh, the range look like this I'm still swinging on the chair they're really really pretty they're exclusive to Sainsbury's like I say and today I'm off to go shoot them with mum and I'm swinging on the swinging chair because um that's what we do I've got the outfits ready in the bag sneak peek behind the scenes what goes on in my world good afternoon ow I've just got my bracelet in my hair we have just shot the content first uh, location was a no go weren't it mum absolutely too windy far too windy the products were just falling everywhere so that was a nightmare so i'm just gone to margo's had a cup of tea managed to do one of the photos inside one of the photos outside these are our favorites i knew they would be mango papaya and pineapple they taste so good and which papaya. one you... mango papaya and pineapple which one was your favorite the papaya papaya I like that one. papaya was my favorite i like the papaya bit and the pineapple very very good and good for um a little bit of a sweet something when um, you don't have trouble. So now we're off to go and do some jobs. I need to go and get some wrapping paper for Chris's present. Mum needs to, you need to do something for her, don't you? I need to get some wallpaper. Let's get some wallpaper. So all the glamorous jobs are now gonna be done and I'm gonna be munching on the rest of this. So I'm now back home, content shot, content approved, always love when that happens i hate it but it's always really nerve-wracking when you send companies to like your images and you're like please like it please like it and then they're like i like it and i'm like yay good work today's photos were not easy to get it's way too windy so we had to root um and find a little tea room that looked really nice so we went to margo's and gorson which is one of my favorites and it's super super colorful so that's where the images are shot and you'll see those very very soon but i literally feel like it's christmas today i've just got home and i have another amazing parcel so i thought i'd show you because i don't really show you guys what i get sent and i think it's important that you guys get to see what i get sent so i got a parcel from john richard if you don't know about john richard they are a jewelry concession which is found in debenhams there's one in norwich but then they've also got an online website i will do a uh, little thing so you guys can go and shop them what's that called link so you guys can go shop them but i just wanted to show you what they sent me i'm going to do this with one hand which is going to be marvelous but we're going to try so first thing is this headband i really wanted some cool headbands 
oh my god how is this going to work i'm going to have to just rest you how am i going to do this put you there for two seconds okay just put this in my hair okay there we go this is the first one this is a really cute headband obviously there's a security tag here but it's gonna look amazing in barcelona because i've got short hair now i kind of still want it to look nice so i think headbands are like a perfect way to do that it's so cute imagine this like in the evening or even during the daytime you could wear this it's obviously on gold plated and it's super super cool love it really intricate really really girly and then they sent me these earrings. I love that they're mismatched. I love it. It's like stars and stuff. Like imagine my hair pulled back like this. Earring looking really sophisticated and like a lady until I open my mouth. <laughs> then they also sent me a little hair clip which is also to go in your hair. This might look quite nice in a hair up I'd say. But love that. And it's very very similar pattern to the other one. But I really liked it because of that. And then lastly, oh, my arm is now starting to ache. Let me just swap over. I've been after an initial um, necklace for ages. And now I have an N necklace. Yay! So this will look really, really cute with basically any outfit. And I'll always remember that my name begins with an N. <laughs> and then I've also got sent, well, sort of, maybe some arms? No, we're okay. Um, I've got sent some products from Superdrug. They've brought out their new telling range. So obviously I'm going to try it because I'm a tanning addict. So the first thing I'm really, 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 really excited about is these facial tanning drops. So you put these drops in with your normal moisturiser. Now I never fake tan my face because if I put fake tan on my face, my skin breaks out. So I never really tend to do it because no one wants what spots on their skin and yeah just not about that life so the fact that i can add these to my existing facial moisturizer is literally going to be a life changer especially i'm going to barcelona because i'm going to be wearing fake tan because i'm literally as pale as a sheet so it would be nice to not wear well wear minimal makeup put fake tan on my face and my face and body to match in color which is a rarity <laughs> um, and then obviously also they sent me the bronzing aqua mousse so this is their mousse version of the fake tan and it smells of coconut so no smelling of biscuits and it's really really good it's giving me a golden color that literally looks amazing and it does rub up on the sheets which is also good and it's cruelty free cruelty free and i love the packaging that's those two and then i also got sent oh my god i've got so many parcels today this cup from cor cor corsicle stemless it's obviously neon pink so it's all about the the colorful vibe but it keeps your cold drinks cold for nine hours and your hot drinks hot for three hours i really really like it because i am the worst for forgetting forgetting to drink so this is gonna be perfect for me to just carry around in my handbag and keep my drinks cool and literally cool and quirky and i love it and then i also got sent some products from more they've sent me their pomegranate range which is a body butter which is in the perfect size for barcelona they've also sent me a soap the little roll on oh just check it around roll on perfume i really really like the packaging of that i think that's really cute and a hand cream so that's really really nice and then i also got sent this which is a perfume by le couvent portobello i chose in the fragrance and it's a really woody fragrance which i really really like because I'm in a bit of a um, particular moment with fragrance. I used to always use Alien, but before I used that, I used Coco Mademoiselle. Before I used that, I used... Oh my God, what did I use before that? Um, try to think. I don't know, I can't remember what I used before that. But I'm like in a transition and I like to change my perfumes quite frequently because I get bored, quite frankly. So I'm very, very excited to try those. But obviously I had to show you guys what I got sent because... It's nice for you guys to know, but the rest of the afternoon I'm now going to edit this vlog, so it'll be up early. I think I'm going to put it up early because Saturday night I need to start packing for Barcelona, and I am nowhere near ready to pack. 